morning folks oh if you haven't seen this thing yet I've mentioned it a few times but this is my snow dog yeah, it's a homemade dog sleds basically motorized dog sled uh, the commercial versions one of them one of the better known ones is a snow dog brand but there's all sorts of them uh, this one is from a 1970s Yamaha snowmobile track and the wheels are from about three different snowmobiles. I built the frame. The engine is through uh, Northern Tools. Um, these little add-on sleds, or skis, those are a snowboard cut in half. Uh, I don't need those most of the time, but it's this engine is a 14 horse. It's bigger than it needed to be. Most of these are made with a six and a half horse. So it's top heavy. It tips over really easy. And then I've got a, a gear bag up here and my rifle in a case. So it is top heavy and tippy. But what you do is you stand in this plastic sled and the thing just drags you along just the same as a dog sled would. It's pretty fun. It's kind of cold to ride though. It's part of the reason I haven't been using it. That and last year Jeff was nice enough to loan me that... Uh, side by side with the tracks so all last year i didn't use it at all uh, he brought that track machine out again the other day and left it at my house i can take it but this is the other side of the valley here and i could load it on a trailer and take it but uh, i really don't like doing that with other people's things so anyway see what we can do here i put this camera mount on here uh can't remember i think i tried this once before and it was so rough riding i couldn't use any of the footage it was just terrible but i'm going to try it again and see if i can come up with anything here so anyway let's see what we can do here Dang it. Well, maybe. Wasn't fast enough. That one elk up there was a bull. Looked like a pretty good one, too. But, <laughs> my camera mount here, it doesn't work. It's too bouncy. So I'm trying to hold this in one hand and drive with the other. Which ain't really working out. <laughs> but, anyhow, I don't think I got that on the camera, but maybe we'll see later. Now, for some reason, I'm having some trouble with these belts. My cover here came loose and ground a hole through it. And this piece here 
it seems to be okay now, but it was stuck. It wasn't wanting to slide back and forth the way it was supposed to. Well, I don't know. Might not get very far after all today, but it's starting to get late too. I got a later start than I wanted, but I don't have that far to go. I just want to go up here. There's a bridge and a gate down here. I want to go up there and kind of look at that and turn around and come back home. Well, <laughs> but it's several miles still, so I don't know. I might not make it. I got two more belts, but I don't want to burn them all up. I only, one of them was bad enough I cut it off. The other one, um, I don't know, it was, it was worn. It shouldn't have been, but that one was on there from last year too, so it might have started out that way. Well, anyway, I don't know if that shaft is needing grease or just what, but it doesn't seem to be wanting to slide. This is where I wanted to get to. This road is seasonally gated. Summertime it's open. There should be a sign on it saying when they close it. I don't see one. No, I don't see one. Anyway, there's tracks here, but they're they're big, they're elk, it looks like. And people. thing it's kind of fun to ride but it is a workout too I'm gonna feel it tomorrow there's no the way you steer this is you just kind of shove it back and forth and it's heavy there's a lot of weight there but it is pretty fun yeah those are elk tracks. Too bad. Somebody has driven up here but it doesn't go anywhere. It just comes up kind of another, I don't know, 75 yards and ends. Somebody with really good tires compared to mine. But mainly, more than anything else today, what I was wanting to do was to, well, use this thing, because it's been sitting for so long, but also, um, I just wanted to look and try to find some um, wolf tracks of some sort, or, you know, old or new, 
but I'm not seeing anything up here at all. No, I mean elk tracks and saw some deer on the way up. That one elk, dang, I wish I could have been a little quicker getting that on camera. Uh, looked like a pretty decent bull. He went up and over the ridge. <laughs> now this way. <laughs> My beard kind of tries to naturally separate anyway, but driving that thing, it does this. <laughs> Oh well. This is a pretty little creek. It has some gold in it. I don't know about how much, but uh, most of these creeks around here do. Yeah, look at that. That one's real clear. That's an elk track. I was panning this a few years ago. And the rancher's wife stopped by and she goes, What are you doing? <laughs> I felt kind of silly, you know. I told her, well, I'm looking for gold. What are you doing? She said, oh, they're gathering some cows. And, and uh, I mean, at that time, I hadn't found anything at all. If I'd even had a, a tiny, tiny speck to show her, I wouldn't have felt quite so foolish. Since then, I've found some. Not in this creek, but other places. And It's fun to do. I've been wanting to do it again. And, man, there just never seems to be time in the summertime. That's why I play so hard in the winter time. But anyway, I guess I'll turn around and head on back. That hopefully I make it. <laughs> like I say, I'm going to be sore tomorrow. I can feel it already in my shoulders and arms. But this thing is pretty fun. It it works a lot better on. Uh, you know, snow that is not rutted up. These tire ruts and things, it wants to bounce back and forth really bad from rut to rut. Well, it is what it is, though. They're used a lot on the Great Lakes and places like that for getting out on the ice and going ice fishing, which they'd be perfect for that. You could, I mean, that sled, a lot of those sleds have a pop-up uh, little tent attached to them so you sit in the sled and ice fish starting to snow we're supposed to get uh, one to two inches is all but so far it hadn't done anything I was wondering if it was going to
Sasquatch. Huh. Somebody up there hunting. Kind of interesting. I don't know what's open other than wolves and uh, coyotes, mountain lions. I don't think there's any late buck hunts. There could be, maybe. I think it's too small. Yeah, I think these are almost sure to be hound. They're pretty round. They're really not that big. Okay, so back there where I turned around, I turned this thing on. It's a speedometer and odometer. It says one way I went almost six miles. And maximum speed I got up to was 14 miles an hour. On average, I went about 7. Well, that ain't too bad. About a almost 12-mile loop. Thing is fun. It uh, has its drawbacks for sure, but it's kind of fun to make something... To use something that you made, you know, and I think I figured out why I was kind of having trouble with the belt. This little belt thing here, that is a centrifugal clutch. And this piece here, there's another bell. When this spins, there's some weights in here that force that apart so it grabs this belt and makes it, uh, makes it turn everything. And that was stuck. So I don't know if that's supposed to be greased or not. But I did put a little drop of the engine oil on it. And I didn't have any more trouble after that. So that's good to know. At least at least it's not broken. I was kind of afraid maybe I was going to have to work on it some. Anyway. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Look at here, that's sure pretty, ain't it?